people in Haiti from Matthew it now stands at 800 people. We spoke with some organizations who do humanitarian work for the island nation earlier this week. Brianna DiPilato checked in with those two groups after Matthew hit Haiti. Destruction, as she joins us now with that package. Destruction and devastation in Haiti is now being felt by some here in Rochester. One local man who's from the country tells me his family and friends that survived the storm back home need all the help that they can get. So I spoke to some family members and some friends, and some I still can't reach, you know, so I'm praying that they're okay. Roosevelt Marius is from Haiti. He moved to the United States in the 90s and now works in Rochester. He tells me he feels helpless being here and not in his home country during a time where the people he knows and loves need so much. And I'm telling them, you know, be encouraged. But you can tell them be encouraged, but if you have no food to eat, no water to drink, how do you move on? Q Interval, a local nonprofit group that recycles unused medical supplies from area hospitals and distributes them to countries that need them most. They volunteered in Haiti before, going there following the 2010 earthquake. Interval's now asking for your help, gathering everyday items to help those that survived Hurricane Matthew. We're looking for some immediate items like toothbrushes, toothpaste, deodorant, um, a diaper. Uh, any type of new clothing, blankets, towels, uh, just the basics that you'd need to live. It hurts, you know, to see the devastation in my country, and I'm here, you know, and why my people in Haiti are going through so much, you know, and that's why we're trying to do what we can do here to help those who are in Haiti. Helping by giving. Marius is also collecting items and money to send back to his home country. He runs Elevate Haiti Ministries. They operate a school, boys' home, and a clinic in Haiti. And now, more than ever before, Marius says he could use Rochester's help. For those of you who want to help, help us. We need your help. You know, we cannot do it without you. Please go to elevatehaiti.org and donate. Again, that's elevatehaiti.org. We will have it on our website. And Interval is also collecting donations of everyday items that can be dropped off at different drop sites throughout the area. If you want to help, we'll have a complete list of those drop sites on our website at whec.com. Brianna DiPilato, News 10 NBC.